welcome to Kelly's Creative Room Studios. And today, in honor of it being Saturday, which means it is a Spectrum Art Creation Sale Day, link will be in the description box below. Live begins at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come find you some goodies and some amazing deals from a great company, um, family-based, that you're going to want to shop with. If you're looking for anything, Maddie can probably either has it or can get it. You just have to ask. So, uh, before I open my box from Spectrum, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby yesterday in their clearance. And they are favor boxes for a baby boy shower. And I thought these panels would be great to cut them out and maybe just do the envelope, the elephant part, and put a number on here and use these for a baby boy uh for here album. So I grabbed those at Hobby Lobby last night. I wish they'd have had more. And I wish they'd have had some girls. Okay, I have this humongous box. It is the medium flat rate and it is jam-packed full because there's over $200 worth of product in here. I know at least one week I spent $130 and you'll see why. But then there are other items in here from a previous week, and I don't remember what the total was on that one. So there's probably close to $200 in product in here. And mind you, that is with Maddie's amazing sale prices, which means I got an even better deal. Okay, first off, let's see. Oh, I have napkins. I have napkins. Uh, the Thursday prior to the sale, they had a... Uh, special pop-up Thursday sale for napkins and I had to get the ocean themed ones. I love the horses. Um, I didn't have any snarky napkins. I wanted to grab some of those. Uh, the Supergirl cape is in the laundry. You'll just have to take my word for it. Step aside coffee. This is a job for alcohol. Um, the whales, the sea turtles, all are going to go in my ocean album. And then there were these with the uh, wild rose flowers. I have these things all over my yard and they are a real nuisance. Years and years ago, the um, Conservation Department of Missouri thought this was a great way to control wildlife is to plant these wild rose thingies everywhere. And now they are just, not only did they plant them everywhere, but they're spreading everywhere. And then I wanted to have the castle. So I have more napkins to use and a catalog. But I also have a napkin challenge that I'm uh, involved with. And I have been challenged to use... Mm, I can't remember. A challenge to use something. I'll have to look. But anyway, I think it's wood pieces, and I bought some yesterday at Dollar Tree. Um, more fabric, like I needed more Timmy fabric, but these were ones I didn't think that I had. And if I did, that's okay. Um, I love this one. This is going to be great for a Halloween album. Undertaker, John F. Smith, they're all funeral home pharmacy type um, advertisements on fabric from Tim Holtz. His, um, I can't remember what these are called, but they were the block letters. And then there's this one, uh, postal accounts. And uh, I've also been collecting these for Maddie. This is my third or fourth package. I saw Louise Heinzel use these in her swatching videos and I'm going to link that swatching video down below because it is just absolutely amazing to the point that it even caught Kimmy's attention. So I'm going to link that down below for you. Okay, um, more fabric. I bought two sets of that one. Uh, instruction sheet. This is all pattern typed fabric for airplanes. And then this scientific one, right up a Leonard and Sheldon's alley. And one more fabric, I think, the map. Now what I'm wanting to do with these, with all the Timmy fabrics and some of the Kathy Holden that I have, 
I'm going to make it a lap quilt for my studio, and I'm thinking probably four by four squares or three by three squares. And then the rest of it I'm going to cut up and I'm going to sell in sections in my shop. So, but it's going to be a while before I get to my Timmy shelf over there. So just bear with me. Um, every week when you spend $25 or more, your name goes into a drawing that they will draw the next Saturday for free product. I won the Graphic 45 Staples Trifold Waterfall Photo Album. Now, I have this folio. I had purchased one. These retail for $18 on their website. And they carry a lot of Graphic 45. So if you love Graphic 45, you definitely want to check out their website. And all of the Spectrum Art Creations links are down below in the description box. Okay, I had to cave in and get this one Alice Tea Party. It's a 6x6. Six six. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but I'm okay with that because I am working on an Alice journal and I have plenty to put in it. I just wanted a little extra something. That is from Memory Place. Okay, then I have... Um, this is Prima Washi. You know, because I need washi. Don't tell Bobby. But I love the colors of this one. And I love Prima. Prima products are so cool. And then I have another silicone brush. This is great, especially when you're doing uh, dress, my, dress My Craft transfer sheets or napkins that you can use this to smooth out the bubbles in your... Uh, product and I'm going to cut this open right now and put it away over here in my glue pocket in my brush pocket and then that's taken care of and it's put away woohoo okay Maddie is doing a Rolodex challenge her memory dex challenge and I have been challenged by Brian at B&D Crafts and More to use yellow and green, and I know exactly what I'm doing. But I had been wanting the punch for quite a while, and I broke down and got it. This is the punch from Heidi Swap that lets you punch the holes in the Rolodex. So you can turn anything into a Rolodex card if it will punch through here, and I like that idea. Keep in mind, I did show you, and Brian showed you how to make your own holes, but... You know, if you want to just do it the simple way and punch and you can afford it, go for it. Okay, I've got these cute brads. They're record albums. I loved them. Now, if you don't know, up until about a year ago, I was a music promoter. And so I want to do some scrapbooking with the artists that I've interviewed um, and promoted over the years. I may have to go back and get a second one of those. I got this. This is a tassel. And let me show you. Excuse me, I have one here that I can show you easier. I have them in other colors, but I did not have one in black. But check this out. It is so super soft. And you don't have to use it this length. You can cut it off at any length. What you're going to do with the rest of it, I don't know. Maybe tape it around so you can do another one of these um, from your beading department. So I wanted a black one. I don't know how I missed getting a black one the first time around that I bought these. I'm going to see if I can slide this back in. You have to do it like a pair of hose and just kind of squish that down. And I will play with that later. Okay, I'm saving part of this for last. This was a new uh, masking tape sheet. And these are all stickers. And you can cut them out individually. And I have that one in... this style but I didn't have any for florals and garden and I want to use this in my in my garden journal so I ordered that one and I'm saving the best for last over here guys these are postcards that are specific to Spectrum Art Creations they designed these this one was not this one was one of them uh, that they picked up while they were in Europe last year, I believe. And I love this stage. I love this. Looks like you could almost watch, you know, um, a 
production of Macbeth or something in that one. And then these are from theirs. I love the weathered wood graphic on the back and then the lighthouse. And I have been saving stuff to do a lighthouse book journal for a while now because I have a main book series that I want to write. So those will come in handy. And I think... more in here first. Got more in here first. Okay. When Hobby Lobby had everything on clearance, uh, a lot of their dies and stuff, because they're no longer going to carry dies, I bought a bunch of Tim Holtz and other Sizzix dies, and I passed up the cathedral window, got home, and thought, you know, I should have gotten that, because I could have cut out this section, and it would have looked like a gazebo. I went back and I couldn't find it. They were gone already. So she had this one by Dress My Craft. It's a little bit smaller than the Timmy one, but I'm okay with that. And it comes with this cute little kitty. So I have this die and kitty now. And then I bought... Uh, she also has a Dress My Craft transfer uh, challenge going on. And I bought these. And I bought a board last night at... Dollar Tree, I'm going to do a coffee sign for over by our coffee bar. It's not really coffee bar, it's a corner. But I, I just love this one. And if you, yes, you're going to see everything in reverse on here. But if you remember your little Cracker Jacks, ta Cracker Jacks tattoos that you put them on your arm and you wet them and pull the backing paper off and then you were left with the tattoo. This is the same concept, elevated. And I'm going to love playing with this one. And then... Oh, and I have more of these coming from last week's sale. Unless you ask otherwise, they ship twice a month. Making sure I don't have any more Dress My Craft in here. Ah, I have a Mother's Day gift card from Elaine for $5. We are such a, an amazing group. We do stuff for each other. And I just love that. Um, but I also bought this Chow Bella. Let me see if I can get it. In fact, I might as well just go ahead and take it out of here. I bought this Chow Bella uh, stencil. And then I have this Spectrum Art Creations postcard with the fairy and the moon. I think I need more of those. And then I bought several rice papers. I love this one with the kitties. These are excellent for decoupaging. They're a little bit heavier weight than a standard napkin. So they're really easy to decoupage with. And I had to have a tabby cat. I had to have. Then I got this one with all the roses. And I want to do something with these. I haven't quite decided yet. But I knew I needed roses. And I've got, I have a frame die from Sizzix. That I think these would fit in the frame die. And then as an author, I had to have this one. And then Fairy Tales. These are from Stamperia. The ones that Up on a Time Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Sleeping Beauty's Castle. And more butterflies. I love Stamperia. I love rice papers. I just love everything. I love all the things. Now to find time to play with all the things. <laughs> That's the tricky part. Okay. Um, I'm down to the last three items. So let me move this stuff out of the way really quick because I want to have room to show this off. I am a, I, I just, I love Graphic 45. So I bought the 12 by 12 in the background papers and you can see all the patterns here. And then I bought the 8 by 8 in the pattern papers. They also on the reverse have the some of the background papers, but I wanted the front patterns. And then I bought the stamp set. I don't... A couple of months ago, Graphic 45 did a challenge where you had to incorporate one of their stamps. The only stamp set I had was from their Charmed Halloween kit. And I, you know, didn't really want to do Halloween. <laughs> and I didn't get a chance to see if I could make it work for something else. <coughs> so I wanted to make sure I got another... Um, stamp set from them. Plus, I've been collecting stuff for Mermaid and my underwater journals. So, 
both of these will work and I love the lavenders in this one uh, along with the blues and let me flip this one open really quick how are we doing on time we're good let me flip this one open and show you these papers in the 8x8 you can get this in the 12x12 12 12. scoot up just a little bit I love this all these cut aparts and there are three of each one in the cut aparts we have the mermaid scales I love that one this would be cool if you wanted to do an aerial I had to do an aerial for um, Ray Benson from Asleep at the Wheel his wife did the voices for Ariel I ought to do that for them uh, Ray Benson from Asleep at the Wheel is a western swing band that has been around for almost 60 years I've had the pleasure of meeting and talking to Ray several times and interviewing him. Very sweet man, but I tell you, you want to talk about a long, tall Texan from, by way of New Jersey, that would be Ray Benson. I love this one. They're, all, they're like journaling space cards. Isn't that cool? And then here's the back side of them. More cut aparts. And then there's this one. Almost looks like a underground floral. I guess there are three there. It brings in all the color palette in that one. And then this is the last one. And this would make a perfect cover on its own and layer up the other trims and stuff. This would be a really cool one to use with their folio album. And I may think about that. I may think about that. Um, if you're not familiar... Join the Graphic 45 Friends page, I think it is, on uh, Facebook. They have a quarterly challenge, monthly challenge, where if your name is chosen and it's random, it's, it's not based on what you create, it's random, just participation, that you could win $150 in Graphic 45 products. Who couldn't spend $150 on Graphic 45? <laughs> Even if you bought nothing but papers, you could have a field day. Or more of these albums. I'm going to try and get this in here before I put it back in the box. Okay. Here's a trick, and I'm not using my own trick. When you have these bags, and they have this sticky on them, turn this to where the sticky is down on your table. That will keep it from catching on your paper pad. And then you can do this. As long as you're not continuing to tear the bag with the edge of the paper. And it slides right in. You just have to get that sticky part out of the way. Okay, that is it for my haul from Natty and Madison and Bernie at Spectrum Art Creations. Remember, the links are in the description box below. You are seeing this this morning, which means we have a sale this afternoon, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're not required to buy anything. Come in and sit and chat and play the games and just come in and see what we do. Because I can tell you this much. You will not spend a more fun Saturday afternoon and evening sitting at home than being online with the Spectrum Art Creations friends. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I will be back here on Monday with our first part in our series for Memory Decks. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and create a blessings.